was battered and scarred, and the old auctioneer thought it scarcely worth his while to waste much time on the old violin. But he held it up with a smile. One of my bidding good folk, he cried, who'll start the bidding for me? A rupee, a rupee, then two, only two, and who'll make it three? Going for three, but no, from the room far back. A gray-haired man came forward, and wiping the dust from the old violin and tightening its loosened strings, he played a melody, pure and sweet, as sweet as a caroling angel sings. The music ceased, and the auctioneer, with a voice that was quiet and low, said, Now what am I bid for the old violin? And he held it up with the bow. A thousand rupees, and who'll make it two? Two thousand, and who'll make it three? Three thousand once? three thousand twice and going and gone cried he the crowd cheered but some of them cried we do not understand what changed its worth quick came the reply the touch of the master's hand and many a man with life out of tune and battered and scarred by sin is auctioned cheek to a thoughtless crowd much like the old violin a mess of pottage, a glass of wine, a game, and he travels on. He's going once, he's going twice, he's going and almost gone. But the master comes, and the crowd can never quite understand the worth of a soul or the change that is wrought by the touch of the master's hand.